Right, hello and welcome uh, to what is possibly the biggest delivery I've ever had to my house. And possibly one of the most historic. And uh, it really does not fit in the camera. It's all over the place. And there's a pink fluffy monk. And I have to say a very big thank you to the big fluffy monk because she didn't argue about this being delivered. Did you? No. No. Uh, yes. Thing is, you get, you get a bed back, and then somebody says, Would you like this? and brings it around your house. So, a big th thank you to Stu, who has delivered this today. So, what is this? Well, this is, believe it or not, it's a mainframe computer, and it's not just any. This is what is known as a Quantel paint box. But this is not just any old Quantel paint box, because this used to belong to the BBC. Uh, more specifically to BBC Al's Tree Studios and it's one of only two apparently so my research shows that were owned by the BBC it's from 1981 and it is one of the pioneering video graphic systems this is mainframe architecture and if you've ever seen programs like EastEnders, Wimbledon or Nightmare then it is likely you've seen the work of this very machine because this was responsible for the title sequences for those programs in the mid, sorry, early to later 80s this very machine now at the moment we can't power it up because the hard drive over there which weighs some 60 kilograms and is sitting by the pink fluffy monk there I shall show you more in a bit has not been run since the 80s well late 80s since the BBC decommissioned it so that's going to require some electrical tests and stuff and the mainframe itself which sits under there it's absolutely massive it doesn't look so far so in the camera but believe me it is uh, they had fun getting this in here that uh, has some electrical problems. The power supply apparently works fine, but due to its age, the uh, solid state caps are blowing in it. So, power from the PSU is outputting fine, but they need to be replaced. So, that's a job I've got to do. So, yes, uh, this back in the day, the hard drive costs uh, about £10,000. There's 10 inch platters on that, which is quite amazing. It's huge. Uh, that's the system itself. Now, I'm just going to put the t shirt back on because it's quite warm in here, so I've been doing stuff. Now, if before I show you this, oh, and there's an 8 inch floppy drive. If before I show you this, you want to go and see some of the work of this, I've put some links down uh, below to a video that shows you it in use. Uh, I've also put a link to a blog which has some videos on it which show uh, some of the work it actually did on music videos etc. So apart from that, let's go and look first of all, well we've got some box stuff which has never been opened since it came out to the studios. And uh, <coughs> and we've got loads of other stuff, but I'll show you around the main hardware first. Okay, time to come off the tripod. And then we can unbox it. <laughs> right, so first of all, how the system worked was a graphics tablet. A huge graphics tablet. Uh, try and find something to just show you to scale. But I've forgotten to get the Mega Drive. I'll be right back. Okay, this is a Model 2 Mega Drive, or Genesis, if you're in America. And this is the graphics tablet itself. One of two which have come with the system. That's the size of the graphics tablet. And that also gives you an idea of scale of the system itself. If I move the graphics tablet to my state. <coughs> necessarily a good idea because it weighs quite a bit itself that's the main system there are two of those tablets there's one around the corner there but you can see that's a mega drive and that's the system 
it's a fair size. Right, let's go have a look at what we can look at. Okay. Right, this is the system itself. And as I said, it's a mainframe architecture, apparently. Uh, that was always put in the in all the literature about it. It's actually a mainframe. If I pull this, you can see the architecture. It has loads and loads of different cards inside. And down here on the door, very handily, tells you all about them. Now these, this is where the caps have blown, so this is where we've got to do some work to get this thing up and running again. You can see the controls on the top. Now it does go a fair way back. And around the back, it does fit in a 19 inch thing. This is the power supply for the main unit itself. Can you see that? Yes you can now. And if I pull that out. Ooh, there we go. There's a very big, very solid power supply, which I'm going to check again. And you can see whoop, the back of the system there. Back into the uh, back plane of the system there. And there we go. So, uh, just put that there. This was all last properly tested in 1989, by the way. So, this is the rather amazing hard drive. Those platters are 10 inches in size. Let me just do this standard test here. There you go, there's a mega drive. And there's the unit. This weighs some 60 kilograms, approximately. So that is why I have in the kitchen some family members who are going to be helping to move this once I finish filming here, because in my present state, I can't really touch it. So, that's the hard drive. We don't know the size of it. Yes, it does have a clear case. The operating system is on there. Apparently it worked the last time it was used at the studio, but it hasn't been run up since. So, uh, it does have, here's its power supply under here. The power supply itself is massive, so we're going to have to do some tests on this power supply to make sure what voltages are coming out. Now this is where I need people's technical know-how because on the back <coughs> it has these power supports for the hard drive to power it but I don't know how to test the 12 and 5 and minus 12 volts coming out of this although it does have these adjuster pots so I don't know if I can take it out from them to test it with the multimeter if anybody does know these or if I can run it I don't know oh can I run it through these fuse ports? Yeah, I do not know. So if you do know, please let me know how to test the voltage levels on this. That would be very much appreciated. Now the drive itself, well this is the back of it. That's its control uh, thing. thing. And as you can see there's the model. It's a Fujitsu M229-4NU. Uh, built in 1989 so it's actually younger than the mainframe this part I don't know if that applies to the rest or whether this is replacement or what but that is the motor to the drive that's a fair old chunk of a motor and then the drive there with its 10 inch platters and that's the reading heads there we go it is massive and I would like to see this going obviously because the system needs it to work but we need to make sure it's safe to start it that it's not going to blow itself up or anything like that now this also came on the hardware side with this which is the 8 inch floppy drive and you'll be seeing the 8 inch floppies very shortly uh, there we go. However, that works. Not used one of these before. I imagine that locks up once it's in. That is a bit dodgy. We'll get it fixed. And over here, which is right for restoration, is the control keyboard. So there we go. Now we've got one, two, three, four, five boxes. 
four of which have never been opened since uh, it came from the original person who removed it from the studio when it was being scrapped. Yes, thanks to that person who took it from the studio. Now, okay, let's have a look in the first box because to excuse my uh, carpet there, rented house, don't have much choice on the carpet. Let's have a look in this first box, which is the peripherals, just so you can see in here. Turn it around for you. Here we have some of the controllers for the system. We have oh, it's like a you put your thumb in there and twist, and then you've got these tap buttons on the top to control it. Excellent. Eh? Uh, comms cable, more comms cables, and one of the pens. These are one of the pressure sensitive pens that are used on the graphics tablet to control this thing. Which is most excellent. Apparently there's a few of them in here. Another comms cable, more comms cables, more comms cables. <laughs> Bloody hell, you need these, show. There's masses of them. That's not the big one. There's the big one. Eek. Luckily, we've got it comes with all the manuals, all the technical manuals and everything to set this up. Guys, I wouldn't have a clue. Right, let's put these back in here. It's a big guy. There's the little side ones. Little side ones. Uh, yes, with the hard drive, <coughs> the last owner was too afraid started in case it went bang but I said I'm uh, not too afraid I will get it going or at least attempt to now let me show you what else can we look at straight away well do this the boxes in the moment I'll quickly show you some of these do, 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 do. Here are some of the floppies and stuff that came with it. First of all, we've got the training video. Oh yes, the original training video. It's cool, an hour and a half of training. So hopefully that's in good nick still. We shall see. Not tried it so far. And here are some of the eight inch floppies. Now a lot are unnamed, possibly unused. You do not know. But as you go through them, you will find Things like this. Wimbledon. Uh, first uh, five, six, seven. So programmed toolbox 84. We've got type 5 V17 master. I have no idea what they mean. But if we go through uh, database stuff. Database. 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 And files for a program called Brass Tax. A BBC program. Uh, there's loads of these, and if we look, this is where some EastEnders fans are going to be fainting, I think, because in here, so we look at this one. Yes, this is the one. We have another box here. If we open it, we see the BBC. Ooh, the BBC logo from 1992 was on that one. Signed with compliments. Cool. Hmm. Excellent. Didn't notice that before. It's a signed copy. Who's it signed by? Keith somebody. <coughs> no idea. I'll find out. Okay, uh, film symbols. Component editing. But if we go further back, hang on. I'll just show you some stuff. This is all fonts. Right, what we've got when it focuses? EastEnders. Yes, so there are quite a few discs from EastEnders. So it looks like this is the artwork from EastEnders. And I also have a link down below to show you uh, the actual uh, intro that this very system created. It's actually on YouTube. So there's loads of EastEnders stuff there. <laughs> uh, 
very nice EastEnders people. Me, myself, I don't like EastEnders. But there we go. Uh, this green one contains do, 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 all the operating system software for reinstallation if needs be. And fonts, huge 8 inch discs. I've never handled 8 inch ones before. I'm not going to say any rude comments there. Oh, and this is the operating system discs themselves with backups. That's the operating system. Oh no. Oh, initialized. I don't know. Port 1 new cool GZBGB. I don't know what's on them. Uh, things like that. No idea. Perhaps one of you people do. Media defect list. Oh. Oh, excuse me. Yes, media defect list. Do have a look at that sometime. Important, please read before use. Oh, yeah, it's just normal stuff. Okay, so that's what's in that box. Now it's time to open the unopened boxes because the last owner never opened these. So it's going to be interesting to see what is within. There's four of these, two are huge, two are small. So let's start with the small ones. I don't know if Wifey wants to talk. The scissors gun Wifey, have you all seen them? Yeah, I've had them. I know I've had them. But there's a mass of stuff now and they disappeared. So you'd like to get another set. <laughs> Silly. Well, that's fair, that's fair. Right. Okay, these are quite light, so I don't know what's in here. But, do you want me to find out? Yeah, open. Mm, something in the phone, so uh, mm. perhaps uh, some part. <laughs> Sorry, live messing around here. So it looks like these. All spare boards for it. Cool. No idea what they are. Doesn't say. But they are by Quantile Limited. So there we go. Spare board. I imagine the other one is exactly the same because it's the same weight. Yes, that'll be boards too. So uh, serial number on there. Yes, yeah, the door zero six three. But uh, I'll put details of those boards below in the description because I haven't got an infinite amount of battery. So there we go. Uh, we've dealt with that one. Let's remove the keyboard, which is right for restoration, and uh, covering that up. Do, 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 let's cut her away. Uh, that one. Uh, go in the and just catch something. Would you like to do this or like cover this up? <laughs> do, 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 do. Oh, yeah. No, it doesn't. Oh, something interesting in there. <laughs> okay. <coughs> Thank you. And you're in. What have we here? Ooh, this is interesting. Oh, brand new power unit. Ah, so that's what's in there. Ladies and gentlemen, it's a brand new power unit. Well, it's another power unit from 98. So, uh, there we go. This one looks like it hasn't been used much, if at all. Is that? That's it. That's it. Right. I am pulling this sweat here. That's it. Exterminate. Exterminate. Kids. That one's been caught on the corner there, but that's another one. So, 
There we go, spare power supply. Excellent. So now we know the most of it. No, for the big one. <laughs> Ooh, put it that, that way because it's showing labels on that side. Can we open it from the bottom? No. Okay, well, let's do it that way so it doesn't show. Please stand by while we uh, stand by, just stand by. On a stand by. Right. Live opening. I am excited. I don't want to cut it too deep because see there's a bulge here. Uh -huh. Your first, your first unboxing video. Your first unboxing video. <laughs> well, I heard a rattle. There's something alive in here. I don't even have to hurt you. Funny. Hmm. Mm -hmm. Interesting question. I'm going to close the box over. Yeah. This is Yeah, cheat. It's heavy. Add more boards by the looks of it. Yep. Yeah. the boards. So it looks like these are either new spurs, very different though to the other side. Uh, oh, yes, they are. Look at them. Oh, they look unused. Yes, so there's loads of extra boards in here. You did say there was a lot of hardware came with it. Almost enough to build another one. Does that look like it's ever been used? I love the cooling system on it. No, and don't put it on the floor. Ah. Ooh, look at that. That's a beauty. What's that say? T R W one J C. Cool. Don't know, but they made in Malaysia. ADC. Something just fell off. Uh, Portugal. Huh. So there we go. Look at the cooling system on that. Yeah, pipes. Looking. Literally, pipes. Join the dots on that. Oh, join the dots. Send me that. Save me that one, join the dots. So, yes. Well, oh, really interesting. I'm going to keep these in this box, actually, I think. <laughs> Find a home for this box. Okay, yes, there's loads more in there. So, that's interesting stuff. I think I shall take them out in another video. Uh, we'll just put them back in there for now and get this out of the way. So, we've got loads of spares. And we do have spare capacity, uh, capacitors as well. It gives a bag of capacitors to replace the ones that need replacing so we can operate. Uh, operate on it and fix the problems. So, while that's there. Oh, well, we're going to move this out of the way, are we? That's my well. I'm going to stick it in the corner there. Excuse me while I'm live moving of stuff. Fortunately, that one's only light. <sighs> okay, the other thing we haven't showed you yet is uh, just the monkey just banking out the way. Fortunately, because of the complexity of this device, it came with all, I repeat, all of the original manuals. So you got the operator's manual here. Do, 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 do. There it says our little stuff. So looks like I said a fair amount of use. Good. Imagine those BBC people uh, working on EastEnders and <coughs> apparently it's worked on thingy as well. Uh, tripods. Uh, if you've watched Tripods, this is the one that did it. If you watched Nightmare, this was involved in Nightmare 2. Many of the uh, programs from the 80s were done on this very system. They only oh, had so the weather reports. All the weather reports as well were done on this. Apparently the BBC only had two. Uh, one down south, one up north. This is the down south one, the London one. And they used to fight over it because the weather department used it for the weather maps. Uh, so if you were doing a TV programme, 
you'd have to use it at night when they weren't using it. Uh, if anybody does have experience of these machines, especially this one, uh, which came from Owl's Tree, please let me know. It would be interesting to interview you, perhaps, sometime. Uh, right, we have the fixed disc unit engineering spec for Mr. Big Drive over there. The Quantal paint box installation manual. Handy. Very, very handy. Oh yes, oh yeah. Very handy. Old folding over stuff in there, not nice. <sighs> cool. Hmm. May have to do some more videos with this stuff. Oh yeah. And last but not least. <sighs> that. It doesn't say what it's for. Frame stores. Intel's family of frame stores. Our growing family includes digital paint box, digital library, digital production, see counting cup. Yeah. Frame stores. That's a picture of it. In fact, that's the picture that's on the blog, isn't it? Except for one of the blogs in colour. I think it's that one. Looks like that one. Uh, yes. I'm going to have a look at the discs. So there you go. I think that's more of a sales brochure. Yes. That's Yes, it's sales pressure. So yes, these were used for the graphics, for live overlays, all your text and stuff, and uh, that's an amazing piece of kit and very historic. Uh, what we will be doing once we get working is, I'm going to look at the files, but I need to get permission from the BBC to show those files because they are their intellectual property after all and uh, I need to get in touch with Quintel about the operating system because it does have uh, things about it being the intellectual property of Quintel so I need to get their permission to show it but if you watch those other videos and look at that blog you can see it in use so you can get an idea of what this is, thing is going to be like once it works what have you found out? Keith Johnson Keith Johnson, BBC, what year? from the graphic design department in 1992 Oh, 1992. That's that. Uh, I'll just show you. 92. That's that signed copy of the BBC logo. So that in itself is a collector's item. There's a lot of collector's items here. But if you want them, nah, they're all staying together. That's the whole idea of this being passed on to me because I'll fix it. They keep it together. Although we are going to be, hopefully, using this for shows. We're going to offer it to some people for replay next year. To, uh, for, so you may be able to get use it replay 2013 and yeah they're going to offer it to some people for them to show and the local university as well for their artists to have a look at old kit if they're interested we'll shall be offering it to them so thank you very 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 much Stu that's very 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 appreciated and we now got to find homes for this I think I found home I am the master of finding space Whoa. so yes if you've got any advice on any advice on testing this restoration techniques for it please feel free to let me know especially testing that output on that power supply the other one's easier because that's got taps on you can test but that one I do not know so please let me know if you do and we're going to take a time with this get it properly restored mainframe itself will be stripped checked restored and then the drive we'll be checking the PSU for damage anything that's gone wrong I'll uh, check its output, that's about the limit I can do, then we'll plug it in, fire it up, and uh, see if we get life or magic smoke. So, whew. we've now got to get our family members back out of the kitchen, and get this uh, squared away. So, thanks to Stu, thanks to Wifey, and thanks to my family for helping me out with this. Thank you very much. And soon we do some more work on it, we'll put another video up. Thank you very much.